Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Scott. I'm going to be building a trailer uh, project. This is going to be a hard sided pop up trailer that I designed, and this is the first video. I wanted to give you a just a quick overview of what I'm going to be doing, and let me flip this around. So this is a Harbor Freight 1720 Super Duty. It's the Hallmaster uh, trailer kit that you can get at Harbor Freight. Put together now, obviously. Um, I've added a spare tire mount, dual propane tank mount, and a swing back jack. And then on the back, Back here, I've got rear stabilizer jacks. I gave the whole thing a coat of, two or three coats actually, of rubberized undercoating. This trailer kit is red when you buy it, <clears throat> but I wanted it uh, coated. It's got a nice coat, it's an enamel red coating, but I have read online that there are some issues with flaking uh, and rusting of the paint that it comes with so I put a rubberized undercoating on it it rained last night as you can see uh, but I've got it all jacked up and leveled that's the first stage for building this is to get it all leveled up uh, I left when I put it together on the driveway let me get around here to the front I left all of the bolts slightly just snug not loose but just snug and not tightened up until I put it out here and got it all squared up so I put jacks on corners and in the center and used a level to get it all leveled front to back and side to side and then torqued down all of the bolts to 400 inch pounds I also replaced this bolt right here was a L latch pin with a cotter pin this is designed to pivot so you can drop the back and ride a ATV up <clears throat> onto it also this trailer is designed to fold in half which I didn't want so I left the hinges off and I bolted those two halves together it's two four by four sections around here so I bolted those together torqued it all down to get it perfectly level and now I'm ready to put on the floor so that'll be the next step but I just wanted to um, give you a starter here of where I am I got this section here so this trailer is going to have a bottom section that'll be solid three feet high and then a hard sided top section that will drop down over that with an electronic actuator lift system so at a push of the button it'll go up and down um, I've got a blog started and a Facebook page where I detail this sort of technical breakdown of all this stuff a little more for anybody who's interested I'll link that <clears throat> So you can go there and uh, look at the, there's more photos and specs and stuff. But I figure a video for some of this might be easier uh, to show in sort of real time what's happening. Anyway, uh, this is just a starter so I can sort of have a kind of uh, base introduction to, to this whole project as I go along. Um, <clears throat> the one thing I was going to say about this is that I needed this uh, where this propane tank starts needed to be four and a half inches minimum gap between here and I left seven just to be safe because the top section is going to need to come down. The walls are going to be almost two inches thick and it'll come down. There's a gap, a wall. And then I'm going to have solar panels on the windows that go up and down, that lever up and down as an awning on a folding bracket. So that all needs to be able to come down between here. And again, there's more about that on, the, <clears throat> on my blog, and um, I'll obviously show you that as I go along. But the trailer tongue <clears throat> here needed to have the swingback jack, the spare tire mount, 
and the dual propane tank mount all up front here while still allowing for a good turn radius. So that was kind of a crucial step yesterday to try and get those to figure out exactly where all, like how far back those could be. Anyway, that's where I am right now. I put some uh, wire loom through the sides. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little cloudy and overcast today, but I've got some wire loom in here for the wiring. I have not put the wiring on yet because uh, the tail lights are actually going to be on the trailer body itself, which is going to stick out. The trailer body is going to stick out <clears throat> a foot off the back and 15 inches off each side. So eventually there'll be some side blinker lights and rear tail lights back there but uh, and then of course the wiring harness up front but I'll run that after I finish when I once I start doing the solar and the, the, the chassis electrical will all be done at the same time so that's where I am with that uh, for anybody interested um, I'm just gonna do some quick videos like this I'm not gonna do anything extravagant these aren't gonna be like super edited or you know fancy titles or anything so uh, just down and dirty my focus is on getting the trailer built. It's probably going to take me two months. I've got a Gantt chart that I've figured out. If I can do it in 44 days, that'd be amazing, but that's going to be absolutely unlikely. So probably two-month process. Uh, hopefully the weather will get better. Um, so I'll see you in the next stage when hopefully the floor will be finished.